Hey, how you doing there again, folks? Me again, of course, Brandon Wenzel. Come back at you, another offering off my sampler platter. <gasps> yes, indeed, folks, I'm player video series videos I've been doing for a little while now. I go over there, try out food and drink items. I eat stuff, I drink stuff, then folks, I'm going to talk about the stuff. I'm going to let you know all that you need to know about hopefully delicious stuff that time I'm doing this, folks, I'm not going to lie. Apparently, 2024 is the year of the empanada? Okay. But we'll get to that. Folks, it's super simple format. I'm going to go over there. I'm going to try out food and or drink items for you. Whilst I'm doing so, I'm yammer on about it for a bit. Whilst I'm doing all that, I'm inside the truck. Whilst I'm doing all that, I'm wearing grody work clothes. Typically, <clears throat> when I'm inside the truck and I'm wearing grody work clothes, that means I was on my way home from work and I found some shit to review for you. That is definitely the case today. Uh, I got off work a little over an hour ago, and I was making my way home. I was like, man, I'm hungry. You know, worked hard all night. Hard, you know. Hard enough, damn it. And so I decided, you know what, man, I haven't been to Dunkin' in a little while. Uh, and, you know, I've reviewed stuff from Dunkin' in the past, so much so, by the way. I, in fact, have an entire playlist called Dunkin' Reviews that is just me reviewing Dunkin' Donut shit. And I was looking over, and sure enough, they had a new breakfast menu item. What is it? What am I reviewing for you today, folks? Well, it's boom! It's this. But what is it inside? It is boom! It's an empanada! I mean, what they're calling an empanada. Specifically, this is the brand new Dunkin' Breakfast Empanada, which consists of sausage, egg, and cheese. It's basically a little hot pocket. Can you get a little thing for your thing? Ha 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 Sure, man. But yeah, this is weird because this will be... This will be the third empanada thing that I've reviewed in my show this year. And that is saying a lot considering how many episodes I've done where I never reviewed an empanada. Because, what is it, Taco Bell? They have the Crispinata. I reviewed that videos already up and then i actually went out to a proper little cuban restaurant called macho's cafe and i reviewed actual empanadas now i get to try a breakfast empanada sure let's give it a go uh and if i didn't say it i think it's it, sausage egg and cheese i might have said that but whatever oh Well, the outside pastry isn't too bad. Like, it's definitely pre-made and stuff, you know, but it's buttery. It breaks away pretty easily. But it's still stable. It's still holding it together. Yeah. I like the pastry part of it. Uh, I, I thought I was going to get more egg and cheese than I did, but it is... <laughs> try to kind of show you. Yeah, it's not super duper full in there if we're being if we're being honest with ourselves yeah i hope you like the uh the empanada part of this whole thing because it's that's a lot of what you're getting Luckily, that is actually pretty tasty. And the rest of it, super basic, not that impressive. Uh, you know, just fast food, egg, cheese, and bacon. Or, I'm sorry, egg, uh, eggs, cheese, and sausage. Um, there's a little kick to the sausage, a little bit of that breakfast sausage taste to it. That's probably the most flavorful aspect of it. Um, and the eggs and cheese are there. But there's not, there's not a great deal of flavor, like, I'll give them this. In making an empanada, they at least had the good sense to make sure that the empanada part of it, that exterior, actually tastes good. 
because that is definitely the best part of this. It doesn't come close to like a proper empanada, but for being what it is, it is actually pretty tasty. Like, again, it's nice, it's buttery, you know, it's a little bit flaky. It's honestly pretty nice. I'm just going to eat it. Wow. Um, um, the rest of it is, again, it's just very basic, you know, somewhat passable fast food fare. Um, it's a little bit disappointing because, like, Dunkin' can do some decent, uh, breakfast stuff. It kind of just depends. I reviewed, they had a similar item. I don't think they're available anymore, but they had a couple of wraps. They had like a chorizo one and like a creamy chicken one. I really like both of those. If you want my full reviews, go look up the reviews. Uh, they're on that playlist I was talking about. This one is, it's not bad. I've had some ones I reviewed, what was it, like the pancake tacos or whatever they had. Those were not great. Uh, this one, it's good overall, but... Yeah, I definitely have some pretty decent gripes with it. Um, two questions have to be asked. Would I get it again? Would I recommend it? Mm, maybe, kind of. Definitely not going to get a full endorsement from me, but I will say it wasn't a bad eating experience. And again, like the, the actual empanada part was surprisingly tasty. Like it was definitely the best part. And... That in and of itself was almost worth it. Like, if they just wanted to go over there and take those, ditch the filling. Like, just take those, make them into, like, you know, almost like a biscuit or something like that. You know, that actually would probably be perfectly tasty. The insides weren't bad, but, like, I didn't get a lot. You know, wasn't, I didn't really feel like it was, if you had a proper empanada, man, a proper empanada is packed, you know. With these, very minimal. And then... It could have been forgiven if it were a little bit better quality, though it's not the worst quality of stuff I've had from from Duncan. Yeah, I don't know. I'm very, very kind of here or there with it. And it's one of those things where it's like, could I see myself potentially getting it again at some point down the road? Yeah. You know, I don't, you know, Duncan breakfasts are a little bit here or there for me anyway. But, you know, a lot of times I like to go through, especially if I can review something, by the way, I also reviewed this just a few minutes ago. This is their uh, Peach Sunshine Sparked Energy Drink. Go watch that review. But I could see picking it up, maybe, you know, but it is one of those things. It would honestly depend on what else they had on offer for their menu, because I would definitely take either of those wraps that they had over this. But I don't hate it, and again, I do kind of like the actual empanada part. So if I'm recommending it, it's not bad. And again, I, I mean, if you're looking for a proper empanado, clearly you shouldn't be from Dunkin', but that is the best part of the whole damn thing, even if it's not, you know, like a proper, proper empanada. That part at least was tasty. Um, you know, I'm not going to say don't try it, but it is one of those things, like, you know, I mean, how much did you cost me? The empanada was apparently $3.99. It's about 4 bucks. Was it worth four bucks in this economy? Eh, maybe. If it were three dollars straight, I would I'd be willing to just let it go. For four bucks, I don't know. That's a little bit here or there for me. So again, it's not gonna get a ringing endorsement, but I'm not gonna tell you to not try it because it was reasonably tasty for what it was, although I didn't find it to be that filling. Five things before I get out of here. Have yourself a great rest of your day, spectacular rest of your week, monumental rest of your month, stupendous rest of your folks. You go over there, have yourselves a truly Proper empanada tastic rest of your life. Folks, go watch my review of Mancho's Cafe, their empanadas. Hell, go watch all of my Mancho's Cafe reviews. I've reviewed three of their things. And if you happen to live in the area, check out Mancho's Cafe. Get yourself some proper, like, you know, Cuban slash Puerto Rican, you know, food. Get some real empanadas, man. You know, don't let Taco Bell, don't let Dunkin'. 
go get the real deal, man. You can't fucking beat it. Anyway, final two things. Number one, try to bring some positivity in the world. It's not always possible. It is, however, always appreciated. But what you do can't do all the time. I know I can't do all the time. Here's what, you, here's what you're going to do, folks. You're going to try not to be an asshole. Folks, it's not always the easiest thing in the world to not be an asshole. Trust me. I know it. I live it. I'm out there every day with you in it. Life can be stressful and frustrating and just bullshit sometimes. And when we find ourselves in situations like that, it's important we go over there. At least try. Take a step back. <sighs> try to mitigate the level of assholishness in our lives. Hopefully do better for ourselves and for those around us. Very final thing, folks. Do the thing. Whatever the thing is for you, that's what I want you to go out and do. Folks, maybe you're going to go over there, maybe you're not going to try the Dunkin' Empanada. Maybe you're going to go over there and you're going to find a proper, like, Cuban, Puerto Rican, maybe Mexican, I don't know, do, do like, I got it from a Cuban slash Puerto Rican place, so that's what I'm going off of. But I wouldn't be surprised if, you know, that general reason kind of thing. Maybe you're going to go over there and you're going to try yourself out like a proper empanada, and maybe it's going to be a wonderful thing. So much so that you're going to go over there, you're going to dedicate yourself, you're going to be you're going to master the empanadas. You're going to go to wherever people make empanadas most prominently. You're going to learn how to do it from the people and the culture. You're going to take all that in. Maybe you're going to be over there. You're going to be doing it. There's going to be a beautiful, you know, person over there who's, you know, learning the stuff with you. Maybe you go over there, you know, things start going good and all that stuff. Biff, bam, boom. Ten years down the line, you've got an empanada stand that's, you know, making bank. You got a beautiful family. That's all I'm saying, folks. That's the power of the sampler platter. I don't just eat food and review stuff and make myself fatter. I bring people together. Bye!